You know, many of us that are working in the area of watershed health, we have a special problem in, in front of us, and those are the degraded and incised stream systems, urbanized streams, if you will. Uh, we've all seen it. How many of you have an incised or degraded stream that you're thinking about how to fix? And also, how many of us are trying to get permits to fix it, and the regulation or the permits require something environmentally sensitive, maybe something altered to riprap? So we have a class, the incised and degraded streams, repairing of them that's coming up. I'm really proud of this class. It's got a lot of case studies. It covers environmentally sensitive stream bank stabilization techniques that were adopted by the Transportation Research Board. You know, I've been fixing and using these techniques for the last 12 years, so there's a huge case study array of proof that this stuff really works. This winter alone, this fall, in two and a half months, I did four huge projects, and I'd like to present those to you. The chance is gonna be in Long Beach. There's a big international rose control conference, February 11th to the 14th. There's a pre-conference trainings, and we're offering a one-day course in repairing degraded and incised urban streams. I hope you can make it to that. Join us in the expo hall for 200 or more exhibitors, and then two or three days of concurrent classes. Classes that offer topics in watershed management and stream health, wetlands, also stormwater. So these topics will be covered at IECA. You're not gonna wanna miss this conference. Long Beach is wonderful in February, and if you haven't been to an IECA conference, you're gonna wanna join. Come take this class or some other classes get some continuing education units, and meet some wonderful people that are, have similar concerns as you. Join us for the repairing incised and degraded urban streams and get the entire toolbox, 50 techniques that are alternatives to riprap.